Let's just take some time to appreciate this for a second. Madrock have always prided themselves in the stickiness of their science fiction rubber, frequently highlighting videos of their users proudly showing off their lineup, seemingly defying gravity. So naturally, I wanted to try too. Now, we'll get to the review in a second, but let's address the elephant in the room. It has been four months since my last upload on this channel, but life happens and 94% of you aren't actually subscribed to this channel, which stops me from going full time on content creation. So really, it's your fault. Except you beautiful 5,800 people, you guys are the true legends. Now let's get into this review and check out Mad Rock's highly anticipated climbing shoe based off the beloved drone model and treated with a competition style makeover. Out of the box, aesthetically, the drone comps have a toned down look that steers away from the crowd's seeming obsession with the sleek premium look of black shoes that seem to have flooded the market and opting for a clean white upper end heel rand, dressed with the black tones of the rubber and inner sock and accentuated with the red and blue pull tabs. While the clean look does give the shoe its own premium look in its own way, don't get used to it as taking it out of the box almost guarantees its descent into the dirtbag lifestyle. Unfortunately, white just doesn't play well with the chalk, dust, dirt and stone and it doesn't take long for the shoe to look kind of ragged. Speaking of aesthetics, for any of you guys eyeing my threads, be sure to check out the 5 foot climbing shop for some sick climbing inspired clothing designs. This isn't a sponsored video, I just wanted to give a friend a little shout out for the cool designs that she makes and shout out the effort she puts into each one, making each one individually and even offering custom designs. I'm sporting the Injured Climbers Club tee because I had to rep my fellow climbers who, like me, are always injured, but obviously, I injure myself purposefully because otherwise it would just be too strong and I just wouldn't be able to climb with all the normal folk, you know? There's no commercial printing done by a third party, it's just each piece done by hand, ensuring quality every time. I've added a link to her site in the description, so be sure to check her out. Now back to the shoe, the compression molded rubber adds a real nice futuristic design that helps elevate the overall aesthetic of the shoe, but end of the day, the aesthetic is only one aspect that we have to consider. Though it's still an important aspect in my opinion, knowing how many climbers base their choice of shoe purely on how the shoe looks. And yes, I am one of them. So let's move on to the real stuff, the performance. How do these bad boys handle? The shoe is fitted with a downturn profile with an asymmetrical toe box to handle steeper terrain, with the compression molded rubber adding a patented concave sole, which adds a significant scoop to help your foot really catch and pull on holes. This added with Mad Rock's unique 3D fin style heel almost makes it feel like that the shoe is built for easy mode. Designed to just make climbing easier in all aspects, honestly, I'm surprised that at this point they haven't added a little lip on the toe to make toe hooks even easier. But I do have to admit that even though this sounds like I'm ragging on them a bit, I actually do like anything that gives me an advantage and makes my climbing easier. Edging performance is a bit average in my personal opinion. The toes are more rounded than its pointier counterparts from the likes of Evolve, La Sportiva and other brands, which gives it an almost no edge feel, which many of you already know I personally hate with a burning passion. It just makes it feel like I have to really squash my feet in to get to the corner of an edge. The 1.8mm polycarbonate midsole does help give the foot a bit more rigidity to help power off edges. However, I do feel like that the inclusion of the midsole really steers away from the idea of this being a soft competition shoe since it ends up adding resistance to its overall flexibility. Now, even though I did say that I don't particularly like the edging performance, I do have to give credit where credit's due. The shoe performed remarkably well on granite, in particular this climb where I had to trust and power down on this tiny micro crystal and nothing else. This is where I think that the rigidity of the shoe shows its strength, giving me the extra pushing power to drive off pretty much nothing. Now, like I said before though, the midsole does add a bit of extra resistance when bending the foot, which I think only serves to hinder the shoe from its true purpose, which is competition climbing. For a shoe designed for coordination type movement and smearing on volumes, I think that the shoe would have been better off leaving the midsole out to allow the foot maximum freedom of movement. It's definitely still softer than its base counterparts, the Drone and the Drone 2.0s, but its softness comes purely in the rubber compound rather than in the shoe's overall stiffness. A compromise here would have been to utilize a split midsole or outsole, which I think was a bit of a wasted opportunity overall, with Mad Rock probably just trying to cater for everyone with a do-it-all type of shoe, which inevitably steers away from what the shoe is marketed as. Don't get me wrong, I've still been able to perform those movements relatively well with the shoes. However, there are just better shoes in my lineup for that that don't limit that movement. 
but none of those shoes compare when it comes to the quality of the rubber compound that Mad Rock have utilized. This is honestly the star of the show when it comes to the shoe. The rubber is extremely sticky, giving me the confidence to move without the fear of slipping, but also quite durable in its build. Honestly, it's actually sticking to my hands as I'm playing around with the shoe right now. The molded construction helps alleviate one of the big pain points of the original drones, which was the delaminating of the rubber, which I'm yet to see in my pair. Smearing and coordination type moves are definitely where this excels, thanks purely to the new extreme friction rubber that Madrock have formulated. Toe hooks are a standard affair. I do like that the toe rubber is kind of thick and hard, just like yours truly, since it helps protect the foot just as much as it helps the stick holds when toe hooking. While the toe rubber rides up quite high, I am a bit disappointed that they didn't cover the entirety of the top as you can see here. The upper rand does take a bit of scuffing and it does leave itself open for delaminating with the introduction of more edges for the rubber to catch on and peel off. Luckily, I haven't seen much of that. The shoe has lasted quite well. Uh, so there's no issues currently with delaminating after about four months of usage. Heel hooks are elevated with the addition of Mad Rock 3D Fin, which can be found on most of their latest models, giving the back of your foot its own ability to edge. At first I wasn't sure how much it would actually help, but I admit that it has come in clutch in more than one scenario. The fit of the heel itself is kind of awkward. For someone with a bigger heel like myself, though I do fit into the shoe and fill it out, it always feels like it's coming off and I find myself constantly pulling on the tabs just to make sure that it's all the way in. This is primarily due to Mad Rock's last, riding lower on the outside. Comparing the Shaman Pros and the Squamas, you can see just how low the drone comps do actually go, which is quite significant, which again just makes it feel like the shoe is never truly on quite right. To be fair, it hasn't ever come off, especially when I tighten the strap, which thank you Mad Rock for not going down that stupid cross strap system that other companies are opting for, and just staying with the tried and tested single Velcro strap closure. The shoe is definitely more intended for those with a narrower foot profile. After breaking them in, they still feel extremely tight, though stretched enough that I can climb in them without a second thought. They're definitely not the right match for my particular foot profile since I have a wider toe box, but for those in the same category, the Redline range might actually be a better option to check out. I size to a US 6, sizing half a size down from my true size or a whole size down from my street shoe size. This is definitely more of a tighter bouldering fit, so for those that are going to cry about it hurting too much during the break-in period, just buy true to size. Why so, so weak? weak? Overall, I think it would be a great shoe if it fit my foot, and the last just rode those couple of centimeters higher so that it felt a little bit more secure. It's a really solid option for bouldering, and in particular sport climbing, which I think benefits from having that midsole support. For outdoors, I think that it's an above average shoe, but still wouldn't pass my current top picks, those being my theories and my shamans. Though, if the Extreme Science Friction rubber was made publicly available for resoling, I would definitely have all of my shoes resold in those above XS Grip 2 and Trax. The shoe being priced at a more affordable offering as opposed to other high end shoes makes Mad Rock, in my opinion, a very undervalued company, which I think more climbers should definitely have a look at. Madrock is one of the few companies that are looking to innovate rather than just copy what others are doing, so definitely try on a pair to see if they work for you, and with the more recent release of the Drone 2.0s, a stiffer version is available for more vertical terrain and extra midsole support to alleviate that foot fatigue which makes the shoe a sport climbing workhorse while also addressing the flaws of the original drones. Now hopefully you won't have to wait another 4 months for the next video. I do have a whole lineup of content in store from gear reviews, funny videos, challenges and whatever else tickles my fancy. So make sure to hit that subscribe button, leave your own impressions of the drone lineup if you own a pair, and as always, send rocks, not nudes. Thanks for watching. No! Life happens and 95 based off the beloved drone Clyde blah blah blah. Little, 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 little